Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel, or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this in one go, so if I stumble over my words going forwards, I apologise in advance, and I should also apologise in advance if the quality of this video is fairly poor, if there's any lag, anything like that at all. Sadly, it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. Today is yet another Eurovision Song Contest 2020 related video. Specifically, I will be listening to snippets of the songs in contention for Slovenia because a short while ago at the time of recording this video they were released and I do believe they really are snippets I don't think the full songs have been revealed just yet I am going to be watching a recap of all the songs in contention Miss Eurovisia who's super fast with this sort of thing has uploaded the recap I'm about to watch it and give you my initial thoughts on the songs in contention for arguably one of the most underrated countries in the competition Slovenia. As always, let me know your thoughts. I have some information in front of me here. Of course, there was the pre-qualification round, if you want to call it that, in Slovenia, which took place on the 18th of January. There were 10 songs in contention, and the two songs that progressed to the actual final uh, were Sashka and Parvani Violet. So I have heard those two entries, uh, but it's been a while. So I need to refresh my memory. And now snippets of all of the other pre-qualified songs have been revealed too. I'm looking forward to hearing Man Like You by Lina Kuduzovic, who of course was in Junior Eurovision. Talking of Junior Eurovision, Stefania, who was part of Kisses for the Netherlands several years ago in Junior Eurovision, has been announced as Greece's representative uh, in the grown-up competition just a few hours ago. And also I'm looking forward to hearing... Tinkara Kovac, who of course represented Slovenia in Copenhagen in 2014. So, I'm going to put my headphones on. Not the most exciting video, I know, but if you've seen videos on my channel like this before, you'll know what to expect by now. And you might hear some of the audio through my headphones anyway. This is it, reacting to EMA 2020, Slovenia. If you're from Slovenia, let me know. Are any of these musicians super famous? Is there anyone that I should really be keeping an eye on? Whatever it is, feel free to leave a comment. Here we go. I believe Gaia Prestor is already emerging as something of a favourite, so we'll see. Let's go. Anna Soklic is first with Voda. Now, I don't have the English translation of some of these song titles, but Voda means water, I think. So, yes, Anna Soklic. This is a really dated ballad. Not a good start. Nice voice. But really unspectacular. Next up is Bojidar Wolf and Wolf with Maybe Someday. Sort of mid-tempo. A rousing sort of tune. I'm getting that vibe. Yeah, a sing-along, song-for-peace sort of thing. Not the best. Next up, then, is apparently one of the serious contenders here. Veriame Vase by Gaia Prestor. Now, that song probably translates as... I believe... Something. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Here's the song. Not bad. A little bit catchy, I guess. There's a sort of... It's not really pop. There is a bit of a rock vibe to this. Yeah, I need to hear more of that. That sounded somewhat promising. Next up is... Who is this? Next up is Imset with Femme Fatale. Fatal Woman. Okay, this is a sort of dancey, pop rock sort of tune. All male group. Mm. It's okay. Seems like we've got another uh, rock type song next. Inmate, who've been in the Slovenian national final before, I believe. I think it might have been last year. The song is called The Salt. This is a heavy song. A metal tune. Yeah, those drums. Again, not really doing anything for me, though. 
I can tolerate that type of music. I don't mind it, but that didn't really sound that promising to me. Next up is Clara Yazbech, young female musician with black hair. She seems quite young. Stop the World is the name of this song. Low key. Yeah, this is really low key. Would do well to stand out. That song would really need to build up to a really good final chorus. I'm not sure it would. Um, need to hear more of that. Next up then is Lena Kuduzovic with Man Like You, a song that she has written herself. This is not bad. Again, mid-tempo. Feels somewhat contemporary. Need to hear more of it. How old is she now? Probably about 17. Doesn't really matter. That's okay. I'm not blown away by anything, though. Gotta be honest. Next up is Manchaberlech, male-female duo with Vechnost. Okay. Quite summery, folky. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I feel like I've heard this a million times before. Moving on, this is Parvani Violet with Cupid, which I have already heard, but to refresh my memory... Oh. Yeah, a bit jazzy. But this is not that great. Sorry. Just my opinion. But next up is Sashka with Shekar Lovim Tvoi Nasme. This isn't bad. This came through that pre-qualification thing as well. Yeah, it's not bad. Next up is... I'm going to mess up the pronunciation here. This is Simon Vandyal with Nishi Sam. That's interesting because Nishi Sam was the title of a junior Eurovision entry for Slovenia. And we have a former junior Eurovision singer for Slovenia in this heat, Lina Kuduzovic. Anyway... Oh, he's got a deep voice. That's okay. But again, I feel like I've heard it a million times before. And finally, Tinkara Kovac with Forever. Oh yeah, this is a sort of power ballad type thing. A little bit repetitive, it seems. That's it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be honest, I'm not blown away. Um, I don't know what semi-final Slovenia are in. They're in the first semi-final. Ooh, that's the tougher one on paper. So it's going to have to be something truly spectacular, I'm afraid, Slovenia, to get out of that semi-final. For me, Gaia Prestor sounded promising. So did Lina Kuduzovic. Uh, Sashka wasn't bad. Simon Vandial, that seemed okay, and then Tinkara. Hard to say which one really was the best there. Maybe Tinkara, but I wasn't really blown away by it. All in all, fairly average stuff, but let me know your thoughts. One of those songs will be going to Eurovision 2020 in Rotterdam this May. I'm now going to uh, stop this video, but I'll be back before too long with some other Eurovision 2020 related content. I need to lie down. I need to recover from the decision that the Czech Republic made earlier. What was that all about? Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Sorry if the quality wasn't that great, but I have to do what I can. Until next time, I appreciate it very much, and bye for now.